But the deal was, in two years, you should have completed a book-length manuscript. Well, I completed a book mm -hmm. the first year. And having done so, and it is poetry, I said, well, who's going to publish my poetry, right? Nobody. I mean, who's going to be interested in, in this? So I called my grandmother and a few friends, and I, said, can, I asked my grandmother for $500 because I knew she had it. And I asked a few other people for, uh, you know, to make, to, to make a loan, and I had the book published, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm not a bad businesswoman. I'm not ever going to be rich, but rich was never an object for me. Mm -hmm. So I had the book, Black Feeling, Black Talk. I had a thousand copies of it, so you have to sell it, right? Mm -hmm. And so I am with Joe's Bookstore in, in, um, in Harlem, in Harlem yeah. and uh, Robin's Bookstore in uh, Philadelphia, um, City Lights in, in California. You know, I sent around, and, and I sent five copies here, five copies there, asked the people to sell it. Do you know, nobody cheated me. Mm. They, they sold it, you know, you get these little checks for three dollars, you know. Mm. And I thought, okay, if you're going to do that, and this is, this is like business 101. If you're going to do that, the business has to be separate, which we need to probably still teach, uh, having watched the executives really loot their companies. The business has to be separated from the person. Mm -hmm. So I had the business account, which meant that I needed to make $700 in this account to take that book back, right? Mm -hmm. If I tampered with that, then I wouldn't know if I had actually made the money. But I said to Columbia, you know, I did it. I, I did the book. Mm -hmm. and. It's out, and I published it, and it's copyrighted, and it's in the Library of Congress, and it's a nice book, and it got reviewed in the minor presses, but not, not the major presses, but in the minor presses. And so I want my, my MFA. And they said, no, no, Miss Giovanni, it's a two-year program. Uh -huh. You know, people say, it's a two-year program, mm -hmm. and you, you, you have to complete the second year. And I thought, no, to myself, I said, that's, that's not going to work for me. So I had to think that one through, and I said, okay. So I, I re-enrolled, but I went down because I had a scholarship from Ford. And I went down to the comptroller's office, and I said, uh, you know, Nikki Jim, and I presented all that. And I said, I want my, I want my check. And she said, uh, well, no, uh, Ms. Giovanni, we, we don't give that. That check comes from Ford to Columbia, and it, it pays your tuition. I said, well, that's racist of you, because mm -hmm. you're, you're saying I can't, well, I don't know how to handle the money. Yeah. I mean, what, you know, so that, that's terribly racist of you. And I, who do I talk to? about this because I'm, I'm shocked. You know, I said, I didn't realize last year, but I'm, I'm shocked. I've put a year in here and uh, I should be responsible. I'm grown. I was 24 mm -hmm. years old. And she said, well, no. She said, you'd have to talk to, and, you know, and end up I talked to one of the vice presidents and said the same thing. Because race cards work every now and then. I said, no, no, I, I can't believe. But if you want to keep my money, you keep it because I'm gone. Mm -hmm. And so, well, they worked it out and they said, okay, we're going to give you your check, which is what I really wanted because it was my check. And I didn't want to go back to Columbia because I didn't have, I, I didn't see wasting time.